Hello and welcome. I'm Jacob from Intrepid Protoworks. I am a human factors and engineering consultant, and today we are continuing our dive into statistics using Python. Before we get started, we need to actually download Python. For the sake of this tutorial series, I will be assuming that you are all on a Windows operating system. However, once we are into the code itself, it should be pretty much the same whether or not you're on a Linux or a Mac OS operating system. The only thing which may be different is the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. For the goal of keeping this simple, we'll be using a Python package which includes a Python IDE. There will be a link in the description, but we'll go through it here. The package we will be using is WinPython. Once more, this should still work on Linux or Mac OS, but you will have to go out and get the Python environment set up yourself. So, to get started, head to winpython.github.io and download the most recent package. There should not be a massive difference between versions as they relate to us. Though, if you want to follow this series exactly, I am downloading WinPython 3.6.7.0 QT5 64-bit. Now let's go ahead and download Python. In a browser window, type winpython.github.io and press enter. As stated before, we are downloading WinPython 3.6.7.0 QT5 64-bit. If you are not sure which one to select, Typically, the most frequently downloaded option is the correct one. Now we just need to wait for the installer to download. I've sped this up for brevity's sake. Now drag the installer somewhere convenient. I'll be working from the desktop for the series, but you can choose whatever you like. Then double click the installer and progress through the prompts. When Python will then begin to unpack itself, this will take several minutes to complete. Once done, browse to the folder it was installed in and open Spider. There are other IDEs out there, and you may like others more. If that is the case, feel free to use the IDE of your choice. However, for the purpose of keeping the setup of a Python environment as simple as possible, we are just going to use Spider. Now go ahead and open Spider for the first time by double-clicking spider.exe. Once Spider is open, size the window how you like. I'm going to increase the size of the text as well. This can be done in the Preference menu under Tools. In this situation, I'm only increasing the font size so that the video is a little bit more readable by you. We are mostly done with the setup of Python for now. For the moment, let's set aside Spider and grab a web browser. To extract the data we will retrieve shortly, we will want to grab the program called 7-zip from www.7-zip.org. This will allow us to open the archive format our data will be downloaded in. Once the package has been downloaded, drag it to your desktop and run through the install process. It should only just take a moment. Once done, you can go ahead and restart your computer and come back to this video. I am skipping the restart because I already have 7-zip installed. Now back in our web browser, type usa.ipums.org usa. This is where we will be getting our data set for the series. Next, pause the video and create an account. I've already created an account, so I'll just log in and proceed. Once you are logged in, go ahead and select the Select Data option in the menu to proceed. This is where the fun starts. We can put together a wide range of data sets, covering a huge range of variables. For our purpose, we're not particularly interested in households, so we'll be going and looking through the person data. We'll go ahead and grab several variables that should be interesting. We're going to go ahead and grab race and also take note of the assorted myriad of variables also available here. Everything from nativity, citizenship status, uh, tribal membership, all kinds of things you can select from. Going back, we will take a look under education next. Again, there are a bunch of options. Here we are just interested in educational attainment. A couple more variables we may be interested in are sex and age. These can be found under demographic. Lastly, let's go ahead and look at income for each of these people. Here we just want income total. That does it for selecting our variables. Let's go to view cart and then select the samples we want to use for our data set. 
There is a massive amount of data available here, and we need to be careful as we do not want to download something several terabytes in size. So for this series, we will only use ACS 2017. There are some added cataloging variables here, which is nice, but not needed for us. So we're deselecting all the variables labeled pre-selected. We also need to review the codes associated with these variables. We are just taking note of them here for now. I also have them written down. They will be essential going forward. You can also see that each of these variables are coded in different ways. Either male, female, racial categories, number designating age, number designating income, etc. Each of these different types of variables need to be handled slightly differently. If we were to apply the wrong tool to a series of data, our results would at best be unintelligible and at worst be confounding. Most of the time, it should be pretty obvious what makes sense. For example, what would average sex mean versus average income? With a look at the variable codes out of the way, we need to check the size of our data set. Here it is 73 megabytes. If you see something much larger, then that should be an indication we've done something wrong. Lastly, let's check the format. For us, we want to use a data format that is a .csv. That will be easiest for us to process. Now, let's go ahead and add a description. Once we've done that, we hit submit. Once we uh, wait a few minutes, it will be ready to download. With our data set in hand, we can minimize the window and select the folder with our Python install. In it, we will add a folder and name it My Scripts. We will do a lot of our work from here. We will go ahead and get our data set ready to be extracted by dragging it from our browser over to this new folder. Let's get back to Spider and save our Python script so it's ready to run when we need it. I am saving it as stats series getting started dot pi. Future tutorials will simply be named after how the tutorial is named. Hit save and it should appear in our folder. Now in Spider, type import CSV and type print I worked as shown on the screen. Then hit save. Once done, go to the run menu and select configure. For our example, we'll have our script run in a new dedicated IPython console. Once done, click the green triangle to run your program. It should say I worked on the right hand side. Now I can go back and extract our archive with our data set. Make sure the CSV file is in the same directory as our Python script. With the data set in place, let's open up and take a look. We'll use the CSV module to do that and type with open our file name and our new line designator, which can remain blank. And then we'll name this my file. We will then open up a CSV reader named data using my file. We'll then go ahead and open up a for loop. And inside that for loop, we will print out each row of the CSV data this will also appear in the right hand side. Again, we'll just use a print command to do this. As we do not want to print out entire 3 million rows of data, let's go ahead and add a variable called i, have it start at zero, and then within our loop, we will also print out i, and then add one number to i. This is an iterator, and once it is greater than 100, we'll go ahead and stop our loop. Now we need to go ahead and also name our data uh, USA underscore 0003.csv. If yours appears different on the folder to right hand side, use that. Now let's look over to right hand side. You see all 100 rows of our data and the information related to each one of those rows. Thank you for watching. That's everything we need to accomplish for getting started. Like, subscribe, and share. Next time we'll be going over reducing our data set down as well as starting in on descriptive statistics.